31 linked to white nationalist group arrested near Pride event in Idaho. Obviously, I'm sure everybody at this point has seen that. My big takeaway from watching this, right, there's all these neo-Nazis in the back of a U-Haul wearing their exact same uniforms with their masks over their faces because they're cowards and they don't want anybody to see their faces because they want to be able to spread hate without being identified. That's, that's how much they, they believe in their, 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 uh, their agenda. That's how much they believe in their message that they will make sure they hide themselves to not really be tied to it because they don't want to be fired. They know what they're doing. They know they're on the wrong side of history. Right? They know if their bosses find out that they're probably not going to have a job. My big takeaway is the complete restraint these police officers had. Just the most polite to terrorists. You know, like, you see police officers, when they're pulling over a person of color or something, you see a completely different side of them. You see these police officers during the George Floyd protests, completely different side. Like, they have no ability for restraint. But for whatever reason, when they're pulling over these white terrorists, complete and utter restraint and respect shown on every single level. It is mind-blowing they're just standing around just being calm as hell meanwhile you look at clips of george floyd protests people like holding signs and dancing and then here come you know cops with the riot shields just just like beating people that are just standing there pepper spraying them just for standing there and these cops find a u-haul full of dudes and they're just, like, escorting them out one by one. Why don't you go kneel on the grass? We don't want your knees getting hurt on the asphalt. Don't worry. We're not going to make you lay down on the hot asphalt, right? We're not going to treat you like a black person in L.A. that's doing nothing, right? We're going to treat you with the utmost respect. And everybody's surprised. Like, how did they know? It's like, what do you mean, how do they know? Guaranteed. There are police officers that are also members of that terrorist group. They could call it their infiltrated, undercover, bullshit, whatever. What we found out, especially January 6th, how many police officers and former military and all these types of people were actually part of, right? They're on that side. They agree with the agenda of these people. So, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure there was, uh, you know, cops are like, hey, you know, probably don't show up to that meeting we're gonna get these guys right we'll get these guys make it look like we're doing something don't worry we're not gonna hurt any of your friends all right bill all right bill don't go to the meeting bill just just take this pride pride day off okay bill we're gonna get your buddies don't worry we'll make them kneel down on the grass we won't remove their masks until way later, okay? We'll do our best to protect your buddies, Bill, okay? But we got to pretend to do our job. We're not going to look like these Uvalde fucks that are doing everything to cover up the massacre, the slaughter of these children. We're going to make it look like we care. All right, Bill? You got to crack some eggs if you want to make an omelet. omelet. So you got to let us do this, okay, Bill? So just sit this one out. We'll treat them with respect. We're not going to shoot them. We're not going to tear gas them. We're not going to mace them. We're not going to beat them with clubs. We're not going to make them lay down, face down on the asphalt. We're not going to put our knees on their necks. We're not going to beat them and kick them. And we're not going to do all of the things that we do to people of color just for regular traffic stops. We're not going to do all of that stuff. We're just going to do basically what our job really is. Okay, Bill? We're going to... We're going to be super chill with them, right? It's just business, right? So, yeah, I'm glad the cops caught all these guys. Sure. But I would love to see this kind of restraint applied to everybody the cops have in co come in contact with, especially all of the people 
that are constantly being terrorized by the police that are doing nothing. Like the innocent citizens that live here that aren't trying to cause, like, they're not trying to terrorize a group of people. Like, they're, they're exercising their First Amendment. They're just driving down a street. You know, regular citizens. It'd be nice if the cops paid those people the kind of respect that they paid these terrorists. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. And follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Out! Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can 